quite early Saturday morning and I'm on the road again heading for Zealand Trailhead there supposed to meet Scott up there and we're heading for Westbrook today we're gonna camp overnight and hopefully catch a trout or two for supper it's promising to be quite a hot day today today and tomorrow both but at least we'll have good sunny weather good the fishing will be if it's hot but we can always fish in the evening if we have to should be a good trip there's still the remnants of overnight fog river fog the sun will soon take care of that I think well Scott's arrived we're pretty well packed and ready to go did you clean my windshield too? No, I'm going to. Though. Are you? Yeah. Well, that's nice. That was my plan. Excellent. Be the first time it's ever been cleaned. I think this is the first time this one was cleaned. Yeah. The view was blocked. Mine is like that too right now. I've got so much junk on mine. Well, it's not junk. They're all necessities. If you're going to camp out in the woods, you need all that, that stuff. Your glasses, huh? Yeah. I might even I might even give you some of my special fishing tips for that. Well, I gotta make sure my mentor is looked after here. <laughs> I'm not gonna video unless something exciting happens on the way up through. I'm not gonna video till we get to the campsite. Yeah. <coughs> you never know. You never know. Or links or anything. Moose, yeah. lynx, Don't bobcat. I hope you do see a lynx. I've never seen one before. Yeah, I hope you see one too. You you've seen one. I haven't. Yeah. So I hope I hope I see one and you don't. So you can be tied <laughs> back out there. Oh, there goes the fawn over there. And mama's over here. Fifty-four kilometers and two hours later we are at the campsite. Well we're at Westbrook camp spot now. We're just getting set up. Scott's setting up his hot tent. He's hoping it'll be a cool tent tonight. Shouldn't need a shouldn't need a stove in it. I got my usual, my Canadian Tire Special. So we'll get set up and then maybe do a little fishing. I don't know. We've got all day. It's just uh, it's around 11:30. Maybe noon. I guess it's noon now. Anyway.
sleep system all set up. It's supposed to go down to around 15 Celsius tonight. That should be just about perfect. drone flight so I'm just charging everything up there so I have all my batteries ready to go in case there's something interesting I want to do drone for. I've flown drone here before but that was in the spring so I'll probably look at the stream again the, the west Nash walks right down there a little ways. There's there's a waterfall, small little waterfalls, just two, three, four foot falls down there, but it's pretty. I may go up to the fort or up to the ford and fish there. Get enough fish for supper. We have some other stuff. I'm gonna make a salad. We have a rice and tomato dish. But a few trout would be good would go nice with that. So we'll see what happens. A couple of years ago, my wife got me a hammock. I've never used it, but I think I will this afternoon. I'll see about setting it up. I probably won't video that. That would just be embarrassing. But there looks to be a good spot right here, right in the shade. I don't get any sleep on Friday nights. I drive on Friday nights, so Saturday I'm usually quite tired so I think I'll have a little nap maybe and then do my fishing later. Scott he's rigging up his bed system. He's got his tent all set up there. I can't have a nap in here this afternoon it's way too hot in there. But over there in the shade, it's just nice. Oh yeah. Here's the caterpillar in his cocoon. Tomorrow he'll emerge to be a butterfly. Like the 
social butterfly. <laughs> a social butterfly. <laughs> this is nice. Um, we might have to cut the straps tomorrow because I don't think we're going to get the knots on, though. It wasn't a real professional job putting it up, but <laughs> it's working. We, you didn't get evidence of who put it up there. No. No, we'll leave that unanswered. Is it comfortable? It is. You're supposed to be at a 30 degree angle. Right now you're at a zero degrees. It's kind of awkward to be at 30, do not it? Yeah, that, that's nice. Yeah. I'll have to have an afternoon nap. There you go. It's um a, like a burrito or something for a bear. That's what I that's what I think it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you come back from fishing and just a few tattered cloths. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. Yeah, it should be alright. I'll have an afternoon nap here. It's nice and cool here in the shade too. Supposed to get up 27 or 28 degrees Celsius today, so this is a nice spot to spend the afternoon. And then we can go fishing after it cools off a little bit. Okay, let's go down and try the fishing. Scott's already down there. Probably caught all the fish. We'll give it a try. That's where it's nice to have the telescopic rod so you're not getting it all tangled up in the bushes. Just like the Trans Canada. And there's the brook. Oh, that's a salmon park. Gotta let him go. Scott's getting a little water. Yeah, we didn't have much luck fishing here. I'm gonna just go down and have a look at this little waterfall here. And then we'll go up to the ford and see if we can't get our supper up there. Pretty spot right there. Yeah, pretty string. Westbrook Falls. Also known as Fishless Falls. Or at least for us. Oh well. I think Scott scared them all away. Well, I'll just carry my boots back. Go back to the camp. patch in through here. Not the best farming country for sure.
Well, Scott, Scott has two fish in his basket, and I have this many in mine. Uh, I put most of the fish in your basket. <laughs> yeah, likely story. I think we know who your viewers are going to believe. They'll believe me. One thing about fishermen, they're they're known as the most honest people in the world. Never lie. Yeah. Actually, I can just cut up enough. I'll cut up a couple of vegetable uh, things in these. And uh, you can put whatever you want on it if you want to put. Well, we've got the trout drying up here, <laughs> and we've got Mexican rice, and I'm going to cut up a few vegetables, have a little bit of a toss salad, sort of a toss salad, mostly cucumber, tomato, and pepper. I guess we, if we toss it, it'll make it a salad. Give me a chunk of it. I, well, don't even, I don't even peel it. Kind of an uncivilized brute, then, too, just, aren't you? Just take a few inches, just cut it off, and get him and give him. Yeah. Not that much. It's too much. No, it's, huh? it's long. Maybe it's just different. You go again. Uh huh. Each uh, skin or off. Yeah, these English cucumbers, you can do that, but I kind of like to peel them. No, if I want that pepper. Oh, there's cotton boards in here. Look at that. Isn't that something? Pretty fancy. Heard it any? Bit of dirt. Heard no hurt nobody. No. Everyone's got to eat a peck of dirt before they die. Yeah. Let's stand it up a little bit. Yeah, you're getting on the health kick too. Oh yeah, very <laughs> much so.
There, there's the salad. So we have trout, fresh trout. We have Mexican rice. And we have a bit of a salad there. So it's a pretty nice supper. I don't have top-notch equipment. But, here's what we got. Some GoPro with our blue rig. Well, that's my original GoPro, and it stopped working this spring, so I bought another one. Yep. My original one started working again, and the one I bought doesn't work good at all. Oh, I should have returned it. What's wrong with one you bought? It's faulty. Something going on with it. I'm not impressed with it. Same size one, yeah. Yeah, trouble is, I'm not very good with paperwork. I should look into it, I guess. I'd say that's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trip to Mark here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where I first saw. The whole Martin Head thing. Oh, that's where you got the idea. Yeah. To begin with. Yeah. And all down through Sussex and that, like that Friar's Nose or whatever it's called there. <laughs> yeah. Different viewpoints. He was up on Poley Mountain. Some nice trails down there. So. Yeah. We'll have to try to get down to Martin Head. Yeah, we can never do that one. And that'll be, we'll have to use two nights on that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally unknown territory down here. Oh yeah. That's fun. What is it? Crooked Creek or something down there. Waterfalls on it and everything. Pretty nice. Pretty nice country down there. Yeah. Yeah, September would be even better. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did a good job on those. I like that spice. The lemon spice or whatever. I haven't tried the Cajun spice yet. Oh. <clears throat> Cajun, you probably like that one. Yeah. I think it'll probably be be spicy, right? It'll be good on the partridge. The stall. Maybe a little spicier. Well, I don't know if it's, it's a different palette for sure, but, but the lemon does go good on the trout, doesn't it? Lemon goes good with fish, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to eat more of that fish. Uh, time for a cup of tea. Yeah, can't get too much of this type of weather. Yeah, all right now. Hard to believe it's going to be August. I'd say Next September week. is my favorite. Oh it's yeah? Not too cold, not too warm. It's just right. Yeah, it's always really. Yeah, August already. Do some quick.
going up to the top of the hill just to check our phones there, check on reception, checked on uh, fire conditions. We can have a fire. I can hear the timber doodle over there. There was one back at the campsite too. Very quiet this evening. Is that the American woodcock? Is that what they call him? Well, you know what? This is saying the night nighthawk. That's not the nighthawk, though. No. Well, what, what's that one over there? American, uh, an owl sighted flycatcher, right? Eh? A what? An owl sighted flycatcher. Owl sighted. Olive. Olive sighted. Sighted. Olive sided, your Newfoundland accent. I'm gonna do a call now. You're gonna call for one of these? For a Nighthawk? I'm gonna do the Nighthawk, yeah, see. Okay. See, we think this is the same. Yeah, that's the woodcock. Okay, that's, well, you can't pick them up with this camera. That's the Nighthawk going. We can see him, but this camera will never pick him up. That's why he was getting so close and so far. And Yeah, that's probably what we were hearing back at the campsite then. What, the Nighthawk? The Nighthawk. Well, we're hearing this, this sound here, Emma. we're hearing the wukai. They sound a lot alike. There's your call there, obviously. Yeah, I don't think anyone else has been here. When we came visit here in the, earlier in summer, or whatever it was, spring. Spring, yeah. There was a... Uh, there was an old fire pit, old, yeah. but there wasn't much. There was no, uh, it wasn't like that. I think it was over there somewhere. Yeah, probably. There could be snowmobilers too. Well, that's true. But no one's been here since I had the fire out here. I recognize my ashes. Okay, this is where the whole trip gets serious. Yep. I may have to teach Scott a lesson in cribbage. Probably had to lose gracefully. <laughs> well, I don't know about gracefully. <laughs> it's a mess when I get home. <laughs> All the different videos from different uh, different yeah. things. Oh. That's the way I like it. In a mess? Huh? In a mess? I like for someone else to get the crib first. Oh. Twenty four. Twenty eight. Go. Okay. Ten. Twelve. Everything went dark, and then Scott went way ahead. I was ahead. So I'm not quite sure what's happening here, but we've got the light on it now, so things should right themselves. Sure, whatever.
Yeah. Yep. Feels better. Yeah, that's nice. Got the flies kind of on the run too. around 11 o'clock now and we've gone to bed Scott's in his tent and I'm in mine I'm just straightening a few things up here before I hit the hay it's been a great day but and tomorrow I think we're going to try to do a little bit of exploring on the wheelers maybe go to Fraggle Rock and do a little bit of fishing We'll see how we feel in the morning. But for now, I'm going to try to organize this mess a little bit better. And then hit the hay. So, we'll see you in the morning. I don't know why I never thought of that before. What's that? Got them butterscotch pudding for breakfast. Yeah. French press coffee. Stick. No, that's all right. They're on horse tracks. Use uh, <clears throat> disposable ones. Oh, yeah. I would never claim to be a bushcrafter. Get a little bit of pine pitch in there. Yeah. It tastes better. It'd stick to your ribs. Yeah. All right. So now. Wait five minutes in here before I press that down. <clears throat> it's gonna be a five boring minutes of video. <laughs> Waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's have some of your fancy French press coffee. Don't fill it in the top. Thank you. Nope. You shake that. it up like this and you can tell yourself it's a latte or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fancy French press latte. I never measure out the... Look at that. I never measure it out, so I don't know. Could be too weak, could be too strong, I don't know. Well, it'll be fine. More yeah. coffee ready now, if you want some. You know, this one will probably do me until we get to Fraggle Rock. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's well. a beautiful morning here. <laughs> We're sitting having a coffee, just kind of relaxing. We're not in any big hurry to get out of here. And we're going to do some four-wheeling, some exploring today. 
maybe even go into Fraggle Rock again. We'll see what the day holds. I have nothing to add. <laughs> We put pretty stars on our sponsors. That one. Yep, uh, that's better. No, this one. No, this is. These are one square five. I like to curves. orient my my <laughs> maps to the east. <laughs> I've noticed that. <laughs> I like to read them upside down. That's one uh, one square five over here. This is UTM. Oh, that's what they are. This is UTM yeah. coordinates. Right. I don't know if you know what that means. No. Universal Transverse Mercator coordinate system. And those grids are. are it's from the one to fifty. Well, yeah, they're from the one to fifty thousand topo maps. Yep. You know, like the official. Right on. They're one kilometer grids. That makes that would that makes sense. Yep. Well, we're still sitting around here. I'm gradually packing up here as I go. Scott hasn't started yet. I'll probably have to wait half the morning for him. <laughs> I should go to all the good fishing spots and catch all the fish go while ahead. he's packing up. I'm just waiting for you to leave. I'm trying to wait you out. <laughs> so you're kind of a, a lamper expert. And yeah. lamper eel <laughs> expert. I wouldn't know that I was. Well, you've told me facts I didn't know and didn't really need to know about lamper eels this morning. I don't even I, I like could, to I think I can tell you them. just about anything. <laughs> and you believe me? <laughs> you were telling truths there, though. You weren't trying to spin me one. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're all packed up and ready to go from our Westbrook campsite. Yep. And we're going to head down the Nash Walk and over to the Keswick and maybe over to Fraggle Rock and try the fishing. That yeah. may be another video. Sounds like a plan. Yep. So, we'll conclude this.